Okay, so what we have here is a mini ATX case. I ended up going with the snow. That's what it's called. It's a mini ATX snow by Thermaltake. Um, I wanted something a little bit more compact than the one I was using. The streaming rig in just wasn't cutting it for me because of the way it had the video card on one side and the motherboard on the other. So to get in there and work around, it kind of became a little bit of a hassle. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn impressed with this little case. It's got a good solid construction. The airflow on it is incredible. There's air everywhere. Now they do make a model with, with, with glass panels on the side. Yeah, you can see I didn't, I took this things out to make it a little easier to pull apart. This one comes with a, a clear top, which I haven't done a peel on yet. This whole, this whole case completely comes apart, right down to nothing but a frame. And it's not the smallest ATX case in the world, but it certainly isn't too big. As far as taking the front off, very easy. You don't fight with it like some of the other cases. Thermal Take did a nice job. It has a built-in filter here, as well as the bottom has a has a removable filter. The sides are open. If you want to get a magnetic filter for it, I'm sure there's. You can just get them. I wouldn't bother myself. It comes with a 200 millimeter fan on the front of it. Now, I wanted to add a little bit of extra coolant, so I threw together a 120 millimeter. I'm hoping you can get a good look at that. Okay, you can see I put a 120 millimeter radiator in there with 3 8 hose. It's got a 120 fan, and I'm also using the Alpha Cool. Yes, I'm wearing the chrome one because I got the I got the black one in my other case and I wanted one that was larger than the um the low profile one that I had and in, in, in that's is inside of the streaming rig. Because of its size I wanted to make sure it was gonna be extra cool. But I don't think there's gonna be a problem with airflow. As you can see, the bottom it does take a full ATX power supply. If you buy a Corsair power supply, a 750 and 850, whichever way you go, that will come with a bracket that will attach to the inside of this and downsize it so you can put a, a, um, a small form factor power supply in it. Instead of going with a crazy graphics card like I had in the other one, I'm just going to put a 3060, an EVGA 3060 with 12 gigabytes of RAM on it. I'm going to be putting a Ryzen 7, um, the new um, the 50, Ryzen 7 58, that's going to be going in here. 16 gigs of RAM, DDR, DDR4 3600. So, what I'm going to do, oh, I'm running this one terabyte M.2 3x4 and I'm also going to be running a one terabyte crucial it's an MX500 but it's a 1000 gigabyte so it's a one terabyte SSD I also have a five terabyte that's going to go in here a mechanical that's going to be done for nothing but saved stuff. Nothing's going to be running off it. It's just going to be saved. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Do me a favor, please. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so here we are back at this little, uh, this little cubie, little cute cubie. And, oh, as you can see, with the 200, I kind of moved this radiator up into an area where it's pushing air through and I also did a pull on this side so shouldn't be no problem getting air through there 
I picked up a couple Be Quiet 80 millimeters. Wow, freaky. I haven't seen one of these in 20 years, really. Nobody uses them anymore, but that's what goes on the back of this. So that's what's going to go in here. Why not? A lot of people say it's not needed. A lot of people don't even bother doing it. Well, maybe it isn't, but I'm going to. So, basically what we're going to do is just put this all together. Okay, so there's one in. I'm going to get the rest in. I usually, you know, I could do the fast forward thing, but I'm just going to like clip right through it. Okay, so we're back. And the fans are just about all in. I don't think it looks too bad. Two little 80s add up to a big 160. Two 80s, 160. Did I say 180s? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I am going crazy. So it's Sunday. Looks a little gloomy out there. I don't know. I hope you're getting better weather than we are over here in, in the southeast. Not southeast. Well, it's not southeast of Massachusetts. I need a cape where it's always rainy and foggy. Kind of reminds you of like England or something. Crazy crap. Okay, so we're back. So what's going to go in this case? We're going to put an ASRock X570 motherboard. I do like the board, other than I don't like the way, yeah, I had to put some tape over here. These, oh, so bloody tight, man, if you're putting in a water cooler. This, this heat sink is just gigantic. Um, I know there's a reason why the heat sinks are so big, so I get it. But I'd still, uh, I like the Gigabyte a little more, but I've got one in the other room, but I can't see using it right now. Yeah, I got an M.2 in the back as well. There's no room for one on the front. So that's what's going in there. An 850-watt EVGA power supply. Two sticks of G-Skill Trident Z RGB 3600. And once again... The little munchkin of munchkins. The 30, 60, 12 gig. I was thinking about going with the TI one, but I think for what I'm doing, um, memory is probably more important than anything else is having a little extra memory to do decoding and stuff like that. So, okay, and we're back. And if you're gonna ever be using this case, I can guarantee you, if you're going to put the power supply, well, if, not if, when you do, it's going to go in through the bottom, which isn't a big deal. Well, let me move this out of the way. Yeah, I got the water pump already all built. It's been built for a while, actually. And okay, I want the fan down. I was almost thinking about putting a. Uh, I was thinking about putting an NZXT in here, but why do they do that with the lining of the holes? They don't put it the way. Well, I guess. Oh yeah. Okay, I see what they did. Just gonna move it over a little bit. I like to use these thumb screws because they're just so convenient. You can change them after. But I, I use these pretty much on everything. If the motherboard can take them, oh my goodness, so much easier. So much easier to put these things on a motherboard. If you've got to reach in there and tighten, you know, check them every once in a while to tighten them up. Oh, it's, it's, it's just awesome. Okay, next step is going to have to be the motherboard, but we got to add the memory to it. CPU is already on it. So here we is. Here we is. Yeah, I know, huh? You're going to say, hey, he fucked that thing. Oops, excuse my French. He messed that thing up. 
he messed that thing up yeah you know something that thing's so thick i had to machine out a hunk of this to be able to get the the uh 90 degree because the other water pump didn't go in directly to the front it went kind of down the side and so i had to have 90 degree elbows and um <laughs> i literally had to like and, and it's still probably got a good quarter inch of aluminum in there protecting it so i didn't like doing it but i didn't have much of a choice sometimes you're just not left with a choice i was kind of in a pinch at the time i wouldn't do it again oh nice little clicklies snapping in there nice Oop, did i put that on the wrong way yeah i did huh okay john you're you're getting crazy now nice nice set in there seated seated nice and the only thing I think I would have liked to see really change the most on this case is the standoffs that you put the motherboard on. They kind of have their own little standoffs and they're not, they're not like uh, copper or brass or whatever it is that they use and you screw them on, you know, the little hexagon type things. They, it's just kind of a little bent up lip, kind of punched and, and, and it's kind of rise, you know, it's, it's, let's bring this out of the way and it's, you know, it's it's part of the board itself and I mean the case itself and I would have rather seen I think am I doing this right yeah I would I think I would have rather seen the um to be honest with you oh, that didn't that went in there nice okay I would have rather I would have rather had copper ones to put on there so oh, well it is what it is all squared away yeah, you like the way that looks so far little tiny son of a gun isn't it all right all right so here we are I figured I'd bring it in a little closer for y'all now the thing with this these water coolers is you got to kind of adjust these screw patterns or else you'll have a hell of a time getting everything in there I mean it's oh it's a headache sometimes So you gotta be really, 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 really careful. Make sure it's lined right up. Sometimes it helps to put some tape on the back and then remember to take it off later. Okay, got a bite. Got a bite. Get a big one, get a bite, get a fish. Got to the bike. Okay, is that one right on there? Because I don't want to have to go out and get another friggin' motherboard. Gotcha. Okay, ooh, is that one? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to finish you up. You got the gist of that. You come back and you can see me do the rest of the stuff here. Looks nice. I mean, it's not all tightened down yet, but. And I actually can take a peek in through the side if I want and see that little side window. Look at that. I can see what's going on in there. Okay. Time to put a few more things. Let's take a look at some. I haven't used one of these yet. They just sent them over to me a little, well, they sent them over to me a little while ago. They've been sitting on my shelf for like, for like eons. Oh, all right, come on. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Just got a little sticky thing for it to go sit on or something. I don't know if it sits on it. Maybe it goes over it, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I gotta read the directions. Yeah. I'm just gonna stick it on there. You know what I mean? These little side panels come off, and you can uh, find a cozy little spot to put your uh, 
SSDs. Oh, yeah. Right on there. Okay. Up next. All right. Wow. I got to tell you, this is probably, this is probably hands down one of the easiest, <laughs> out of all the cases I've ever had, one of the easiest cases to do cable management in. This, this has been like a dream. All right, so I just got to tidy up a couple things with the wires. I already put the 24 pin. I put the CPU four, well, I'm sorry, eight pin. Is that all in there good? Yeah, that's in there good. I got the SATA hooked up. The M.2's in the back, the memory, the 24 pin. Water pumps nice and cozy. Fans are in. Hey, we're cooking with gas here. So we'll be back to wrap this up in a minute. Wowza. Okay, that was fast. So instead of fighting around with these little, uh, you see the, well, they got the little back plates on there. Well, look at this. A nice little idea. They got a little clip that covers right over it. Thumb pinch popped right out. You don't have to go inside like I thought it was going to do. Pull these off. I can't believe how easy this was to put to put together in the cable and is like tucked away perfect. I'd like to see even with a full ATX some shorter some shorter cables like you get with the SFX. Those are gorgeous the little short cables they give you. I mean, hey, you can't have everything though, but I am not going to complain. I mean, like I said, I've had way bigger problems with stuff that I thought was going to be a lot easier. Hey, you guys want to do a little peel? Let's see. Do a well, that's the, that was a lame peel. I cannot fit a three fan in here unless I go with like... I think it would be like a 20, a 2060 might fit. No, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, it might, I'm not sure, but it can't be over, uh, it's got to be at least like 11 and a half inches the longest because you can hang a little bit out of the back here. But I tried it with the, uh, was it gonna use? Yeah, I was gonna put in a bigger card, and lo and behold, that wasn't gonna happen. I mean, Jesus, it stuck so far out, I wouldn't be able to even put the front cover. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't matter. Like I said, we don't need a heavy duty gaming setup. This is designed just to do the workload of converting your video over. Okay, come on. What is the issue? Everything's light. Oh, there it is. Okay. Am I going to have to move the board back a little? Uh, it's going. Okay. Now let me get the wiring squared away. And we'll finish this up, put it together, fire it up, and see what she looks like. No, I haven't put the screws in the front of it yet. I should have, I guess, maybe. Not that it's going to make a huge difference. See? See how nice and easy they go right in? Voila! Bye bye! Voila! Does that look nice and straight to you? I can't see it from Fall River. That's an XCD over. We all say that over here. Can't see it from Fall River. Screw it. Can't see it from Fall River. Only thing with this case I'm a little bummed out is it doesn't have a front um, 
it doesn't have a front port for for a C, a USB C. That kind of I wish they would have. Maybe they will in the future. I was almost gonna make one. I'm always Jerry rigging stuff up. So yeah, right, baby. Here we go. Oops, put it too low. Sorry, Mama. Okay, I'm being a real, real, real weirdo today, ain't I? Okay. Oh, that's all right. I had it right. I just pushed it too far in. Okay. Pull her up a little bit. Look at that. I kind of do like that little way it hides that. Kind of swipe. Kind of swing. Okay, so that's about it for this. I'm going to throw the fans in. I mean, not fans. I'm going to throw my brain out. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to finish hooking up the cable in, tidy everything up a little bit, and um, we'll be back to watch it fire up. Okay, so here we are. All the wiring's done. Like I said, a breeze, probably one of the easiest setups I've ever done, especially for a little case. Um, so here we have it. 3060, the fans, the water pump, the front's connected. Put a one terabyte SSD on the side, a one terabyte SSD inside of it. I mean, an M.2, 850 watt power supply, 16 gigs of 3600 memory, um, yeah, X570 board, 5800X chip. Let's throw it together and see how she runs. There's only one thing that I kind of feel they could have not done for the reason that it never, never works out. No matter what you do, it never works out. I'll show you in a second. Okay. Speaker, headset, restart, start. Oh, and this is what I didn't like. And the freaking camera keeps shaking. I gotta get a better. Okay, it's not glass. We know that never works out. It is a piece of plastic. I didn't, I just noticed that and I was like, oh my god, bummer. I, mean, I don't even want to scratch it with my fingernail. Right? This shit scratches so easy. I mean, it does look good. I'm just not going to be able to put any pressure on it. Like, when cleaning it, got to be real careful. I mean, it does look good right now for like the next 15 minutes. And then when I got fingerprints on it and I got to clean it, Adios amigos. Okay, yeah, it looks good. I can get everything in there fine. Yeah, the whole streaming community is in, in a freaking uproar over what freaking Streamlabs did. That was, that was pretty scummy, actually, though. They steal almost every program that they put out especially the ones that people work so hard to put together open source programs and then they go and they freaking copyright it so nobody else can use it it's not a good thing yeah everybody's coming out and they're like flipping out i don't blame them let's take a little look do -do 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 -do. what you all think nice little rig huh i like it I like it. I think it's a pretty little thing. You can look right down in there. You can see everything. This thing is like small. Okay, so here we are. Finished product. Um, obviously, you can see I am like far from uh, getting all the cables and everything all squared away. I get an amen. Can I get an amen? Let's get this going, I hope. Nope, we got power. Let's come around. 
Oh, pretty. Fans are all spinning. Yep, water pumps are spinning. What's our screen look like? I have video. And we'll be back in a second. Okay, video just popped on. Let's let the programs load in the background. Okay, so we have the Go XLR program that's up. We'll downsize that. Um, OBS, we're not running. Bingo! So we get the hub up. Hub -a -bub. Oh, the hub -bub. Oh, that's right. Can't run this because. All oh, that's captures go through. And, oh, what am I even doing? Yeah, this goes through my computer, captures the picture on my computer. So why am I even attempting this? This is only set up for audio and my camera. All right, so we can close that. And there we have it, folks. Look at that pretty. That's only a, that's a 1080p, 75 hertz. That's how I got that monitor for peanuts. All right, so I'm going to get this thing edited up. It's my crew right there. That's the crew. Holy moly. Discords. Nobody's on Discord today that I know. All right, everybody. Hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If not, give me a thumbs down. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything you want to see in the future, anything you want to know, you just let me know. And on my next video, we're going to be going over some, uh, what it means like in resolutions versus, versus fr uh, frame rates. And um, oh my goodness, we're going to cover that whole thing. We're going to cover the whole thing. And so like I'll give you one little hint that you said some people if they've got a 1440 I hear a lot of people always say oh yeah I got 2k no you don't you got 1440p 1440p is not 2k actually you're lucky 1440p is more it's half a 5k okay and your FPS frames per second our refresh rate is only a number of the uh, amount of so if you get a refresh rate of 60 that's 60 frame frames per second if you have 240 fps if you have a 240 refresh rate that's 240 so uh, the higher your refresh rate the smoother your games will be the higher your resolution the sharper your image will look but if you have a high resolution and a low refresh rate, it's going to be choppy and ugly. But we're going to all get to that later. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, any comments? Anything? Anything? Let me know. Everybody, have a nice day. Rest of your weekend. Take care. Well, it won't be weekend by the time you see this. Bye.